Hello YouTube. As you can see, I have this big pile of aluminum back in front of me. And I have a router base and a 3 8 inch piece of plexiglass. And that plexiglass came out of my router table. If y'all don't remember that, here's a little bit of that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn all this that I salvaged from the dumpster, we're going to make a router slit. There's a lot of money sitting there. This stuff ain't cheap. And I'm happy I found it. So, we have to cut off here so I can get a little more travel. We're going to cut a hole in here so I can get some dust collection. We're going to clean up some rails, put this in here. We're going to make some rails to go around and bolt them all together. So, if you want to see this work, Stay tuned, and at the end, we will be cutting that up and seeing how it works. I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. You know the rule, more than three times you're playing with it. I need a longer hose. What I'm doing here is I center punch the hole roughly in the center of this thing. I'm going to put a stopper so that it doesn't slide off. When drilling this extruded aluminum, you want to make sure to use a vise or very minimum clamp it down to your plate. Another thing that's nice about this extruded aluminum is you can add on later or you can take off whenever you want. I decided I didn't like these stoppers so I took them off and you'll see later on I'm not using them but all you got to do to add on is get you some nuts slide them in the rail 
and then you can screw in anything you want and that's what I did I drilled a hole I made a stopper slid the nut over the hole and right on in it went I did this on both sides by the way. So this is how I drill for nuts and bolts on this extruded aluminum. I first put in a bit big enough for my bolt to slide through. I drill that hole. Then I bring my bit out and I exchange it with a larger bit never moving the part. My vise is locked in place right now. I put the bigger bit in, turn it on, and slowly compress down on the part. That way it doesn't jam up. If that thing grabs, it'll throw that whole thing for a loop. You'll uh, not appreciate it, I can guarantee that. I tried using some clamps in my dog holes and I found out real quick I didn't like that. They got in the way of the sled so I ended up having to move them and make some wedges to put in there. These wedges work pretty well, a lot better than I thought. I think I'm going to look into uh, either making some hold downs or ordering some hold downs. I seen Woodpecker had them on sale for four pack. As I finished up with this uh, 5 8 bit, I really did not like the way it was turning out. So I decided I was going to sit and wait on my 2 inch bit to show up. And that's when I noticed this. Holy crap, are you serious? Look at the freaking gap. Now, when I put these together, I did it with all thread and I used what looked like factory cuts but when I pulled them off and checked them with a straight edge they were not straight so that first pass was done with this 5 8 quarter inch shank straight flute bit the second one, I was waiting on this to come in, is a 2 inch from Grizzly with a half inch shank. So, we are going to try this out and see how it works. I started off with about a quarter of a bit and this is real time I speed it up here in a few minutes but as I got a little more comfortable with a bit I started taking bigger and bigger bites I think I'm at like a half bit on this next pass and I mean it is not grabbing or anything this bit is super sharp I'm much happier with the way this bit cuts than that 3 8 plus I can remove a lot more material a lot faster another thing about this router sled is I find myself liking to cut pushing it I tried pulling it back on a return cut and I didn't like that finish very well so I push it forward and then I pull it back and then I move it over and then I push it forward again.
So here is the 5 8 bit. It's pretty rough. It's going to need a lot of sanding. I'm going to go over it with that 2 inch bit and uh, clean it up. You can see it looks like it's got a lot of tear out on that end grain. Not a big fan. I'm about to patch that up with some epoxy there. But that was just to show you what the little bit does. Now, this is with that Grizzly 2 inch bit. These are the same areas where that tear out was and it is beautiful. It's actually pretty smooth. I don't think I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of prep to that. Well, that's gonna conclude our video for today. We'll give you a little information here and uh, we'll get out of here and get this cutting board finished up. This thing done a great job on this cutting board. I can't wait to use it more. Everything that's here, as far as aluminum goes, is with this stuff about five eight foot sticks. You can get these from Granger. They're inch and a half extruded aluminum. About 50 bucks, uh, eight foot stick. So what I've used as far as making this, the sled itself, is about four sticks. You got two here. No, you got one in these rails. You got one per half. And you'll need one extra to get your centers. So four sticks. So for about 250 bucks with all the hardware, you can build what I got here. And it's got about a 50 inch cutting capacity this way. And uh, about a 34 inch this way. So it's got an inch and a half cutting capacity as far as thickness goes this way. And if you noticed, I took them fancy handles off the corners and put countersinks in it. That way I can flip it over. Ugh. And I can do thicker boards this way, which is going to give me about a three inch cut capacity. So I don't cut or have to flatten many three inch boards, but now I have the capability to do so, which is awesome because I did not have that capability before. Three inch, yes. 50 inches, no. So. That's all for today. I'm going to get back to work on this cutting board and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and build that box and send it out to one of y'all. So make sure to look for that video. Like, subscribe. That way you get a chance to get it sent to you. All right. See y'all later.